For today's project, I'll be making a candle with this bottle and I'll be using skills that I've compiled in previous videos. I'll have links in the description for each of those. I will also have a playlist of those videos available. I'm starting with this large blue bottle. I'll be cutting off the bottom of the bottle and saving the top for a future project. I'm using the smaller bottle to estimate where I want to make the cut. Now I grab my bottle scoring jig and... Huh. This bottle is too big for my jig. My mark on the bottle is past the end of the jig. What to do? What to do? Wait. I have an idea. I'll add an extension to my jig with this piece of 2x4. That'll work. I'll screw it on with a couple of angle brackets. Then I'll take some parts off so that I can make some measurement marks. Now I'll put these parts back on. And it's done. Now I can score my bottle. I cut the bottle at the score line using the same method I used in my previous videos. I didn't show it here because it took a long time. I also got a crack in the top part of the bottle, but I will deal with that later. Next I'll sand the edges smooth, using various grits of sandpaper. After finishing with 2000 grit, I check the results. It looks good, so now I clean up a bit. I'll be melting the wax with a double boiler. For some color, I'll be using a crayon. To prepare for the melted wax, I take this tea light candle. I don't need the candle itself, just the little pen that it comes in. I cut slits around the edges of it so that I can flatten it out. The purpose of this is to hold the wick in place. The bottom of the bottle is curved so this will help. There are other ways of securing the wick too. This is just one way. For this size of candle I'm going to use three wicks. I need to poke holes into this to pass the wick through. For two of the wicks, I'm actually using one piece of wick, leaving some extra between the ends. The third wick will also have some extra inside the candle. I'm doing this to help the candle soak up and burn more wax when it gets low. This is kind of an experiment so I'm not really sure how well it will work. I want the wicks to be straight in the candle, so I pin them up before pouring the wax in. I used a pencil and a dowel but I kind of struggled to get the pins to stick into the pencil. Invincible. Once the wax is melted, I pour it in, making sure to pour some directly onto the wicks. I melted more wax than what I needed, so I just poured the rest into empty tea light candle pans. I could add a wick to those, or just save them for later. Now that the wax has hardened, I can remove the wick supports and trim the wicks. And that's it! The candle is ready to use. There are different ways to do a lot of these steps, so feel free to leave a comment with other tips. Also, check out my other videos leading up to this one. And watch for my future project using the top portion of the bottle. 